Hey everyone, MTest here. And I made a video the other day saying, RIP, Hoyoverse just ended my career. And uh, I was very frustrated on stream about it. And uh, I wanted to talk about all this stuff uh, and about, you know, Braxophone, I win to lose, the people that are in this um, this creator server. I want to talk about Gotcha Smack as well, because he's so handsome. Uh, and I want to talk about a, a few things here. Okay, so I made this video and some of it is a bit hyperbole. It's like, yo, Hoyo just ended my career because they just gave access to other creators to test out the characters, play the characters, make videos on the characters before I can even look at them. And the other issue is leaks. So I want to get into this. So Braxophone has already made a video on Acheron, 351,000 views. He made one on Gallagher now, testing it out, has access to Gallagher early, can show if he's good, if he's not good. And so a lot of the information is already out there. Is this character good? Is this character worth your time? And so by the time I test it, by the time I use it, I understand some people don't view me as a guide maker, but any content around the character is probably less interesting because it's like, yeah, we we know all about that character. So unless it was like, hey, I got five five stars in in, in a 10 poll, you know, there, there's not a lot of content in this game that is like exciting and worth talking about other than new characters. So when other people have videos already covering everything about the characters and their light cones, it's hard to, like, make anything transformative or exciting or different. But the other big issue is the leaks. So the Genshin Impact, Impact uh, Reddit has 1.6 thousand people on the Reddit browsing. The leaks one has 1.6 thousand people browsing it. So it's like everyone who watches a game, plays the game, is, is invested in the game, is checking out the leaks. So even before Braxophone, or, or I Win to Lose, or anyone has even made those videos, everyone knows everything about the kid already. So there's already this massive amount of hype that's lost due to leaks. But I want to talk about Gotcha Smack, because this is very interesting, is he reacted to Braxophone's video. And I'll, I'll really quickly click on the video, but I'm scared of Hoyoverse. There's a big thumbnail on here saying Brax, and they said, hey, your video might be potentially copyright claimed if you show this footage. Even though it's got to be and has to be fair use. Legally, it is fair use. But the issue is, with these leaks, there's animation leaks, there's kit leaks in HSR, in Genshin, there's so many leaks, I can't talk about them and refuse to talk about them because I don't trust Hoyoverse. I do not trust them to not shut me down or implode my channel. It's not worth the risk. So a video on a character that probably could have got two, 300,000 views because they're all releasing at the same time and I'm one of the bigger creators, they get like 70,000 views because everyone knows ev everything about them because of the leaks that I can't talk about or refuse to talk about. And then all the other creators are already making videos on them getting hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views because of the first one to it, that it's like, even though I'm a, a big creator, all the hype is gone. And so when I made my video, I'm stressed because it's like, yeah, like this fuck, this is terrible. But I also think that like my channel will be okay. I made this Azure Promilia, 50,000 views. I made a joke video, 60,000, a Wuthering Waves video, talking about some news, 40,000. Like I'll be fine transitioning to other games. And like, I think that I can be entertaining. But it just feels like, dang, I feel like I'm going to get forced out of this, this space pretty quick. My tier list did fine. Like, none of my videos are doing amazing right now, and that's okay. Like, we're chilling. We did really well with Genshin and HSR launch uh, and everything. But it's, it's just, like, this situation where not only do the people have the videos out and the leaks and stuff are available, but there's just the risk factor of, like, if I react to it now... I could also lose my channel. And so I'm just so far behind the curve that I just feel kind of, I also feel kind of like, well, why, who gives a shit? Like, who cares about me? I know people say, oh, we'll still watch your stuff, but it just, it just doesn't feel like a fair environment. It doesn't feel like I want to like partake in the, in the content grind because it doesn't feel like it's, it's like fair. You know what I mean? I, I feel like, I feel like bitter towards a little bit, but there's also like a main thing that I want to talk about because when I make my video saying like, yo, rip my career, I just got roasted, I just got crushed. That does not mean, and I'm going to say that again, me not having access to these characters 
and not being able to make these videos does not mean that Brax or I win to lose or whoever else making these videos is bad at all. If they did have access and they didn't make a video because they're like, oh, well, it feels dirty. I would yell at them. I would go to their door and be like, make the video, you idiot. Go get the views. They're guaranteed certified bangers that helps the community is going to get views, is going to make them look better for sponsors. They should be doing this. And if I had access, I would do it too, bro. I would absolutely be milking it. And so I'm not bitter at all towards them. Zero percent. I'm, I'm, I'm envious, potentially. Obviously, everyone would be. But like, it's, 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 it's business, baby. I critique the hell out of Genshin and Honkai Star Rail. I do it all the time, bro. I call characters terrible. I, I roast them all the time. They don't like me and they're not going to like me and that's the bet I lay in. The, the views that I get for my, my contrarianism or my negativity, that's what I traded for access to the, to, the, uh, to the server. At the end of the day, it would probably be way better, way safer, pay way better for me to be on the Hoyo, you know, good side. It absolutely would. But I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pretend a character is good. And that is another thing that I want to discuss about with this whole thing. Is there's this narrative of um, the people making the videos have to be positive. Now, they may have to um, get their content vetted before they post it. I haven't seen the contracts and stuff. But... The idea that they can't be negative or can't say things, I watch both videos. I watch the entire thing. They both say things that are negative. They say multiple things in it that are like, yeah, don't buy the light cone or you don't need the light cone or, or like things that would be viewed as negative or dissuading people from spending money. So it's not like, oh, they're in the Hoyo pocket. They're, they're forced to be positive. No, I do not agree with that. I don't think that is true at all. And even Brax like has said stuff in the past. And so, you know, from this whole thing, I've seen some of the creators getting hate uh, or, or, or different things. And, and, and there's this, like, there's this, like, uh, weirdness about it all. So, like, if I go to this video that I just posted, I got early access to Path of Exile. It's not doing amazing, but I got early access and preferential treatment for Path of Exile. And there's a couple comments in here somewhere, somewhere down here, um, that are like, oh, well, this isn't fair. You're, you're crying, you're crying about the HSR stuff, but you're doing it to the Path of Exile creators. And it's like, yes, absolutely, everyone should. If you get early access to something and you can show it off early, you absolutely should take the opportunity. I got to go to LA, play a game, got paid, I had a great time. And then I got to post a video that didn't do amazing, but I got to post a video. You absolutely should do this stuff. And so again, anyone hating on Brax or I Win to Lose or anyone... They're just dumbasses. They're just stupid. They should be posting the videos. It's my fault that I'm not in those servers myself. And they're doing the community a service. They're testing the characters early so you can save or you can spend and you can make your decision. Do I want Sparkle or do I want Acheron? This is a help to the community more than anything. Always. 10 out of 10, 100% of the time, value. So that's kind of where I stand on it. It's like, it kind of sucks, but I know I'll be okay. It's just, you know, it's hyperbole. And like, I was in the middle of stream, got a huge bit of news, and I posted, um, you know, my reaction to it saying like, yo, rip, my channel got, just got like pumped because it probably will impact things a bit for sure. But at the same time, um, I've transitioned from game to game when a game is hot, I make guides on it. It does well. I know that there's there's peaks and valleys to the business. My channel's not doing amazing right now, but like I'm streaming right now, talking about all this. I've got 1,300 viewers. Back in the Destiny days, I'd have 100. I'd have like 80, 80 viewers some streams, you know? Unless I was like in the middle of a tournament, I had like 200 viewers, 300 viewers at best. If I got 1,000 viewers on a stream back in the day, it would be once every like six months. Now, like, things have completely changed. We're, we're doing really good with content overall. And, like, I don't do as good as some other bigger creators. But, like, so what? 
I'm still in the top point, you know, zero 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 one percent of creators, and uh, and and happy with it. And and I know that there will be other games, and I know that Wither and Waves will pop off, and 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 maybe I make like a second channel for Path of Exile. Like, who knows where we go? But I'm not I'm not gonna go like you know my channel's not actually gonna die. And at the end of the day, I did so well with Genshin. I made a video on it. Like, if you guys go watch, there's a whole video on like how much money did I make from Genshin. And, and, and all that stuff. And, like, I don't have to worry about anything in life. Like, realistically, I'm a super lucky guy. And I'm going to end it on this because because I just think it's it's a good thing to do is when I was in L.A., uh, I was riding my bicycle, okay? Uh, well, not my bicycle, but I rented one, and I went for a bike ride. There's, there's your boy. I was riding my bicycle in L.A., I went to a uh, Griffith Park and I went up to the conservatory or or whatever it's called, the observatory. And while I was riding my bike, I was like, "Damn, I'm a lucky dude. I get to play video games and hang out with people and uh I get paid to do it." And like I'm so blessed in life. I really can't complain about everything. And I I might have had like a moment of like being scared on stream and like, "Oh shit, my channel's dead," but it's not dead. We're chilling. We're happy. We're vibing. I'm still very lucky to do this, and I know that I'll be able to transition. But like, one afternoon, I recorded 25 ultimate tips for Genshin Impact, and it it maybe took me like two or three hours of work, and this video made thirty one thousand dollars back in the day. It's like, I, I I literally can never complain ever about if my career does well. Or doesn't do well if it's up or down. Like I know that it's maybe never going to get to this level ever again. But the fact that it ever got to this level, like it was so life changing that I'm I'm chilling forever, and I need to just be thankful that I even have the opportunity to do this. The the fact that I I can even entertain or try to entertain people is a blessing, and I need to just be okay with that. And that's where I am. That's where I'm at with it all is, yeah, I might not have a view here or there. I might not be the tip of the top every time. I might not be the most prompt, but the fact that I get to to be here, the fact that I get to live on this earth, the fact that I've got these things, like, I'm just grateful. So, I don't know. I just had a, a lot of reflection this past week. I, I've been thinking about things, and uh, I'm feeling good. And I, I hope you guys are all doing really well. And uh, see you soon the next video maybe you guys can convince me to get acker on tomorrow twitch.tv slash mtashed i'll be live tomorrow for most of the day and uh especially when the banner drops maybe i'll pull we'll see i got 40 pulls <laughs> maybe i'll skip don't know <laughs> never know <laughs>